Hey everyone, this is Coach Jeff from CrossFit C is the Day. We're going to go over today's workout of the day for Tuesday, March 24th. We have two parts in today's workout. The first part is going to be a barbell Tabata workout. So Tabata, we know that's 20 seconds of work, as many reps as you can do, 10 seconds of rest. We're going to do six rounds of each movement. The first movement will be a deadlift. Second movement will be a hang power clean. Third movement will be a front squat. Fourth movement will be shoulder to overhead. All the movements will be done at the same weight. So we would assume that we'll do a few more deadlifts in each set than we would for cleans, a few more cleans than we did for squats, etc. because the movements get a little more challenging. If you do not have a barbell available to you, a pair of dumbbells, a kettlebell, a backpack, anything loaded with some weight is totally fine. Uh, we can be creative with what we're using for the weight today. The second part, we're going to do a four round workout, four time. There'll be 20 kettlebell swings, followed by 15 setups, 10 squat cleans, five burpees, and we're going to finish that round off with a 400 meter run, or as far as you can run in a two minute period of time. So it's four rounds. Again, kettlebell swings, sit-ups, squat cleans, burpees, and run. For that workout, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can swing your backpack, you can swing a dumbbell. For the squat clean, same thing. We can be creative. Uh, we can move around any object to get in some work. So that'll be the second part, four rounds for time. Okay, so let's look at the movements for part one. We said we're doing a Tabata workout with a barbell or another object. So we're doing deadlifts. Letting that bar fall straight down. Good posture, hang power cleans. Bring the bar to mid thigh, jump shrug. Quick catch at the shoulder. Front squats, good tall posture. Hips down and back, nice and deep. Driving those elbows out and then shoulder to overhead. You may strict press, push press, or push jerk. Any of those are acceptable movements. If you don't have a barbell, you can do deadlifts with your kettlebell, hang power clean, front squat, overhead. Same thing can be done with a pair of dumbbells. Same thing could be even done with a backpack. Think about doing a nice deadlift or a clean or a front squat or an overhead. So really any object you have that you can find to move around with is acceptable for this workout. Okay, let's look at the second part. Four rounds for time, 20 kettlebell swings. So nice flat back, hinge and drive. If you don't have a kettlebell, the backpack or the dumbbell, work just fine. Followed by 15 sit-ups, followed by 10 squat cleans. So ideally, if you're using your kettlebell for the kettlebell swings, a squat clean will simply be from the hang, hinge, extend the hip shrug, catch at the bottom of the squat. Since we're doing 10 total, you'd be doing five on one side of the body, five on the other. If you're using a backpack, if you're using dumbbells, you can do 10 total squat cleans because you're using both sides of the body. So after the squat cleans, we have five burpees and then we have our run. Okay, so let's get warmed up for this workout. This is an aggressive workout with a lot going on. So we want to make sure and get the body super loose and prepared to move well. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a one minute of your Spider-Man stretch. Push up plank position. Bring one foot forward, lower the hips to the floor. Switch legs, lower the hips to the floor. Do that for one full minute. Follow that up with 10 reps of squats with a pulse at the bottom, 10 reps. After that, I want you to go out for a quick run, 
three or four minutes, a nice easy jog, nothing too fast, just to get the body temperature up, to get the legs a little bit warm. When you come in from that, one round of everything from part two. So that was 20 kettlebell swings, 15 sit-ups, 10 squat cleans, five per arm if you're using a kettlebell, five burpees, and then we're good because we did the run. So that's the part two warm up. Once you've completed that, we need to warm up the barbell or whatever object you're using for part one. 10 deadlifts, 10 hang power cleans, 10 front squats, five strict presses, five push presses, and five push jerks so that we have all three movements of the overhead warmed up. So 10 deadlifts, 10 hang power cleans, 10 front squats, five presses, push presses, and push jerks. After that, you should be pretty well and ready to go. So part one, you're gonna set a clock. We're doing Tabata, so it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Each of the movements will take you three minutes because you have six rounds. I'm giving you one minute to rest in between movements. So after six rounds of deadlifts, take a minute break. After the power cleans, take a minute break. Same thing after the front squats and then you'll finish with those six sets of shoulder to overhead. Try to move at a smooth and steady pace through that whole workout, getting out good quality reps through round one all the way through round six. Once you're done with part one, I want you to consider taking about a five minute break, maybe up to a 10 minute break. We're then gonna go on to part two, where you're gonna do your four rounds for a time. All right, so good luck today. It's a good workout. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time.